What's up, people? Welcome back to International. One of the major questions that I had before coming to Australia as an international student was how much money will I make in a month as an international student or will I be able to pay my rent and living expenses just doing a part time job while studying in Australian university? And I'm sure a lot of international students who are planning to come to Australia or even people who are here have this question as to like how much people make money as an international student in Australia. And in this video, I want to share different jobs that I have have done while I was a student and how much did it pay me, some of the jobs that my friends have done and how much did it pay them and give you an idea what you can earn as an international student in Australia. So if you are somebody who's planning to come to Australia or someone who's already in Australia, this video is just for you. So check it out. So let's start with my first job. So this is July 2017. I have just entered the country as an international student starting my university here at Monash University in Melbourne. And I'm desperate for a job because I'm spending in dollars and I'm not making any money. So I'm putting all the pressure on my parents, which obviously none of us want to do. So I'm applying on Gumtree. I'm applying on Facebook. I'm applying on seek.com.au. Indeed, you name it. I was applying everywhere. And then finally, I found a job um, as a pizza maker. So I was making pizzas. And when Whenever somebody would call, I would take the orders and then go make pizzas. And they were giving me fifteen dollars um, in for one hour. Now at that time, I didn't know fifteen dollars was below the minimum wage, and they had to give me nineteen or twenty dollars. So I was just happy to take fifteen dollars uh, and at least to have a job, even though it was just for ten hours. And the reason I didn't know about the minimum wage was because there was not a channel called Internash telling us all about life of international students. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Moving on, so I was making about $150 a week and $600 or $700 uh, in a month, which was not enough to pay my rent and bills. So I had to find another job. Then the second job that I found was um, as a salesperson in a cricket shop. So they were they were selling all the equipments for um, cricket. I'm sure you already know that cricket is such a big thing in Australia. So that was a shop. And what I had to do was that I have to be in store, just what salespeople do. And another thing that I had to do was distribute pamphlets. Now, this was really hard for me because this was around August. Uh, September and it gets really really cold in Melbourne so I was on the street and it's super windy super cold but that's the job that you have to do right that's how you learn uh, different things uh, that you have to do as an international student and which will set you up for success in um, future and they were paying me $20 for one hour and also they had asked for TFN which means that the company will deduct certain tax and then give me the money which is the legal way to do it so any company whenever you want a job make sure that they're asking for your TFN and then you're filling up all these forms and then they are directly giving you money in your bank account unless you're working on ABN that is Australian business number if you're working as a contractor that is how you get paid but usually your jobs uh, should require a TFN. So that was my second job. But again, these jobs were really hard and I wasn't uh, making enough money. Now, meanwhile, my friends, some of my friends were doing door to door sales. So what they had to do was go to different suburbs knock at people's doors and sell whatever the product that they were selling a lot of times that is electricity or gas uh, plants that they are selling saying that hey i'm from this company uh, these are a lot better rates and you'll save money and when they sign up they make commission and these commissions were like 100 150 dollars so for example if they're doing let's say for 20 hours two or three days and they sign up um, four or five people they would make like 500 or 700 dollars in one week Right. So that is a lot of money, um, especially uh, compared to what I was making at that time. So uh, some of my friends were making two, three, four thousand dollars a month, not every month, but the month where they do a lot of sales, whereas I wasn't making enough money. So then I got another job as uh, in a call center where I had to do the same thing. I just had to call people and sit in office. I just thought that was a lot better. But then it was not just commission money. I was getting about $22 uh, for one hour of working there. And then I was working for 20 hours in one week. So then I was like, this is quite a bit stable income. At least I'm making $450 uh, for one week. 
and I was making more money through commission. So whenever it wouldn't be $100 per sales because I'm not going door to door and I'm in an office and they're also giving me an hourly wage, but at least it was something. And that's how um, I ended up making more than $3,000. Now, just a disclaimer, right now at this date, international students don't have a cap on working hours. So imagine working for 40 hours in one week, which is legal right now at this date. It may change in future. We don't know yet. Um, there is no official announcement saying that they're going to go back to 20 hours a week or 40 hours a fortnight. Currently, international students can work as much as they want. So if they're working for uh, 40 hours and getting right. paid about $25, which is which is quite reasonable, a lot of people get jobs where they get um, 22, 25, $27 per hour so if they're making $25 per hour and working 20 hours or 40 hours that's $1,000 uh, per week and that's about four to five thousand dollars a month now if that happens then you can save enough money and possibly pay your tuition fees as well overall uh, you should uh, imagine that you'll be making about between 20 to $25 and you would be working around 20 hours in one week because you have to manage your studies and you also have a social life. So then you would be making about $500 to $600 uh, in one week and uh, that equates to $2,000, $2,400 for one month and your expense should be around $1,300 or between $1,000 and $1,500 depending how you're living. If you want to know what is the cost of living for an international student in each city, we have made videos on this channel so feel free and look at those videos so you have better idea. But as an international student in Australia, if you're working about 20 hours in one week and getting paid $25 an hour, you should make $500 a week and about um, $2,000 to $2,500 in one month. Now, I hope you found value from this video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It really helps us when you like the video and comment on our video. So please do that. Tell us how much would you ideally want to make when you are an international student in Australia. And if you haven't shared this video with your friends, share this video with your friends. Hope you found the value. See you next week.